black and stupid. Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Um, you know, our space program is <laughs> kind of just a shriveled up shadow of what it used to be. Don't get me wrong, there are still people there who are very, very smart who are doing some cool stuff, but I mean, there was a time when we led the world in space exploration. Now we can't even get there. We have to hitch a ride with someone else. And that I'm not against partnerships. As a matter of fact, it's going to take a worldwide partnership to really get out in space. All we do right now is we go back and forth to the space station and we'll put up uh, some satellites and we send out some probes every now and then. But, I mean, we're really not exploring space. I mean, right now, with the technology that we have, it would take centuries just to get to the nearest star. Never mind to get to the nearest galaxy. The technologies that are needed to really explore space, we haven't even begun to dream of them. But that's the thing. There's no urgency about getting out there. It's kind of on the back burner. We really don't feel like this is something that needs to be done. And, and, and that's a mistake. And I'll tell you why. We are doing an incredible job of fucking up this planet. And one day, it's going to pay us back for the shit we've been doing to it. And we're, we're not smart enough to stop doing it. We're certainly way too selfish to stop doing it. I mean, think about it. Would you really give up your car and your air conditioner and your Xbox for future generations? No, I don't think so. So what's going to happen is, like I said, the planet's going to pay us back. Uh, the water, there'll be less and less of it that's drinkable as more and more of us need it. The air, the air will get more and more unbreathable. And the weather will be so unstable that it will be impossible to grow enough food to feed all the people that, that are going to be here. Storms will keep getting larger and larger until finally they'll be so big we can't do an effective response to them. Eventually, we'll be reduced to small pockets of humanity struggling to survive in a very hostile environment. Now at this point, the earth will start to heal itself. But there's no guarantee that the remnants of humanity will survive the hundreds, perhaps thousands of years that it will take to do that. So if human beings are going to have a future, it's going to be on a distant planet, in a galaxy, forgive me, far, far away. A galaxy that today we are incapable of reaching. Yeah, someday our sun's going to go nova and the whole planet will be destroyed. I know that. But I don't think we're going to really make it that long. So my prediction is that we're headed 
for a well-deserved extinction. Now, I'm an agnostic who leans towards atheism, so I don't think God is going to intervene. And even if there is a God, I doubt if he's really going to bother to create us again. Thanks for listening.